morning so um, this is really early in the morning we're literally about to leave to go to insomnia and I'm gonna meet up with Gemma K so see you there but hey what am I doing yeah well say where no we are handed camera hey we're at Andy's <laughs> house in Bracknell we've got like two hours to go I'm just gonna program it into the sat nav and we'll be there one day. <laughs> you look so scared <laughs> like, like what's happening gonna, right now I need to put sat nav thing in <laughs> what <laughs> There. Right, okay, so we finally arrived. It's very white in the sky. Yeah. Uh, but we're about gonna go in and do our stuff. Epic. Yay! Yay! Last week we went to Insomnia 60. Yes, yeah? we did, yep. And it was really fun. It was fun. So it was at the NEC in Birmingham. Yes, NEC stands for Necromancer Energizing oh. Cytoplasm. I was gonna Google that. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> Should I Google it now? Can yes, Google it now? yes, Google it now. Just do a quick Google. Okay, so we were at NEC in Birmingham, much bigger than um, EGX Rezzed. So that was the last gaming footage you saw of us go to. And National Exhibition Center. That's what that stands for. That's that. Necromancer Energy Cytoplasm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All that. All that. Yeah. Uh, and we... it's called Insomnia as well because yeah. there's insomnia? the. BYOC, bring your own computer section, yeah. where people literally camp out with their PCs, like massive really PCs, cool. right? Yeah. In a room, and they just go for it, like 24 7. They, they just play games. Yeah, it's, wake it's, up at 3 a.m. and they're Evan like, I might game with all of my friends. Yeah, so we saw lots of people yeah. actually bring in their whole, like, really expensive computer systems. Yeah, they were massive. Um, there's like wheelbarrows hall. and stuff. Yeah, there's a hall near the Twitch streaming hall, which is yeah. also very cool, um, that has literally just thousands thousands of computers of people gaming it's just you need a special band to get in there Ooh. um yeah so if you are into gaming with other people yeah. like socializing which is sometimes hard for gamers um it can be it like feels you, like a social you, activity you, you can hear people but a lot of the time you don't see the people yeah this is this is really interactive have a picture in your yeah. mind of what they might look like yeah i say really interactive it's in a dark room your pc is next to somebody else and you've got a headset on and you're concentrating on your game and you're probably not playing with the person next to you probably the person like uh, you know seven rows down there yeah still but then, interactive but then you can plan your coffee breaks together exactly and, and you can you can and... sleep next to each other in a tent yeah, you, you could do that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying. Did, did you see the camping area? We was saw it literally a brief tents glimpse inside? of it. It was well guarded, but yeah, it's literally hundreds of tents um, in How one room. How can you even pitch a tent without dirt? They, 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 in the bio, they say mention bring weights. It's so, like <laughs> I'm guessing wait, that's yeah. how. Oh, wow. So your tent doesn't slide everywhere. So you're not pegging it into the ground. You're like sticking weights on there. Right, exactly oh. like that. Anyway, so we arrived, we got yeah. coffee, because we really needed coffee. Yeah, we did. And then uh, we were uh, shown to the PlayStation 4 VR, Yeah. which I kind of <laughs> cut in cut in a line. I was like, ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this straight away, and then realized all the glaring faces that <laughs> there was another massive line. <laughs> There's a long line to book I a just, ticket to yeah. come back later and enjoy the Book the, the ticket, where well, you might get a place later. Yeah. It looked really cool. I can't say that I had a go in it, because I didn't. Yeah. But there were big titles. There were. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Injustice 2, Tekken 7. Yeah. Tekken 7 had an interesting new character. Yeah. Yeah. This is Bob. Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob. Who uh, so, creates this stuff? So, what is Robert like? Did you play as him? or? Uh, yes. Uh, your partner, Andy, did. Yeah. And I cleaned the floor with him because he told oh. me to be one of the, no. the, the greatest characters, Law, who is basically like And he Bruce was Lee. Bob. And he was Bob. And Bob, Bob just does floor. know how to fight. Yeah. Anyway, the game itself was okay. Um, it hasn't really changed since Tekken 2, to be honest. Um, but what we did get our hands on is Injustice 2. Yeah. Which was super cool. Um, we did the classic Batman v Superman. Yeah. And Superman flicked Batman, and that's how that match ended. Oh, and you yeah. were Batman. I was Batman. Oh, is uh, Andy has some skills. He has some just skills. Not on Tekken. It just when it comes to Superman, he didn't need many because obviously Superman v Batman. Superman always wins. <laughs> <laughs> the rules. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it was a really <laughs> good game. You have infinite power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've updated all their characters. There's lots of lots of new characters coming. The graphics are running on the new engines, obviously, so it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, talking about those super cool characters, they were really great uh, cosplayers. Green Arrow and Deathstroke were there. Yeah. I think 
playing themselves with themselves is kind of meta. Like on Injustice? Yeah, on Injustice. Wow. Uh, which is cool. I kind of wanted them to fight in real life, but that's not allowed. Yeah. No. No. Uh, talking about really cool. um, cosplayers, did you see some of them? I did. I really loved Ironclad. That was my favourite. Yeah, he Ironclad. He looked so cool. He had that massive beard. Is he from Overwatch? He is from Overwatch. He had like enormous weaponry and I yep. got a picture with him. Yeah, he's and cool. And he was really cool. Uh, so Overwatch was there, obviously, yeah. with, with some cosplays as well. Um, yeah. The not so loved Paladin was there. Uh, yeah. We had a we had a game on this, and it was actually really good. Really. Um, I actually preferred it to Overwatch. Are you allowed to say that? I don't think I am allowed to say that. No, because oh, no. Paladin's supposedly the game that stole everything from Overwatch, right? Yeah, you're gonna get us in uh, trouble. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. That's really, really interesting. It. Yeah. So they've not, like, they've kind of copied some of the basic elements of it, but improved on it, do you think, or...? I think what they've added to it, it looks like they've taken the base copy uh, of Overwatch, which is yeah. naughty, I guess. Yeah. And they would say they wouldn't, that they, they stem back from creative ideas from way back other games, not Overwatch. Yeah. And then they've added things like you, you start on the map we played, you start on the horse, and you go straight into battle. And yeah. That was a weird thing, but it kind of worked. I horse like into portal horse into battle. Games. Yeah. Like Zelda. Yeah. Hey. Zelda was there as well, right? Zelda there was, was like there. A, have your photo taken with the link. Thing. Yeah. It's a whole Nintendo section. Nintendo didn't seem to have all their indie games, or maybe I just didn't know. No, it wasn't. It was more their mainstream games with this yeah. one. So they had Zelda, Splatoon 2. Yeah. Battle Mini are Stage. You, are you disappointed that when they made Splatoon 2, they didn't put the 2 in the name? So it was like Splatoon. Oh, that would have been good. I know, right? Why didn't they do that? I don't know. They should have consulted you. They missed a trick there, Splatoon. right? Splatoon. Yeah. Yeah. That would have that would have made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so away from the big games, yeah. uh, there was obviously things like the Retro Corner, which yeah. had every console. So the biggest bit that I saw was Minecraft. Like yeah. took over the whole of the centre. Yeah, Minecraft and there's was like massive. Educational area. There was like a Lego area. There was a competition area. There yep. was just so much it's minecraft. really cool that minecraft was there in force it was madness just yeah. so much the really cool little stuff. statues around like uh the, uh, the creepers the, and the stuff. creepers and the enderman and yeah well, that, that was really cool there was like little paper crafting areas yeah. a bit of hammer beads if you wanted to make some minecraft things and yeah and then right next to that is the retro corner which had every console known to man like i'm yeah. pretty sure every console there was represented. Yeah. I saw some guy playing a really old Ninja Turtles version and yeah, Super Nintendo, all of that, GameCube. Cool. On the old bulky TVs. That looks so cool. Some of the kids look confused. Like, like taken back to my childhood. <laughs> kids were like, what is this TV? It's got a back on it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it was Which so is pretty cool. fun. And then next to that. It was really child friendly though, wasn't it? The was whole event was like, I, I brought my son and it was just, there was so much for kids to do. And Yeah, they do say that um, if you're under 14, you definitely need a parent. But yeah. above that, you can go. Um, yeah, it's, it's really safe as well. But like, after. like, you know, fun for parents too. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't get to see everything because we were like well, checking out Minecraft, <laughs> checking out Terra You were kind of stuck in the indie corner. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My son really loves Terra Tech, which I don't really get. But it's like a Minecraft, but with vehicles, and you put the blocks together, and then you blow up other people with your vehicles, weapons, and super stuff. popular though, Terra Tech. So cool, and and he just wanted to spend the whole day just around there. He was like talking to the creators and stuff. So. Uh, we met the guys from Badlands who've got a game called Vostok Inc. Yeah. Vostok Inc. Which this... is like Wolf of, Wolf of Wall Street in space. Yeah, except it's not an 18. <laughs> no. no, no. This it's is really, really cool. fun. Uh, you get to shoot unicorns. Yeah, we, when you level up, right? You have to get so to really to... quite quite far in the game by the looks of it. You, it the, the numbers are ridiculous, like or sextillion or something. Be mates ridiculous. with the developer and he can just unlock <laughs> everything, which yes. is basically what we did. That's what we did. Yeah. I was like, show them the unicorn gun, show them the... And then you guys, and, and like I got some footage of you shooting unicorns and stuff. The, the, the unicorn gun was like over 9,000. It was, it was, it was so really cool. powerful. And the sparkly unicorn noises, they won't be in the thing, will they? Probably not, <gasps> no. Was so uh, beautiful. There were some other really great titles as well yeah. in the indie game, in the in the corners. Uh, there was this bear with her pink red cap, uh, something resurrection, something. Anyway, the bear rude, dies. Was that rude bear? Rude, bear? rude bear resurrection or something like I that. I didn't see that, but you guys were talking about. Man, we played this. It's it's one of those games that reminds me of things like Super Meat Boy, where it's really good but gets really hard really quickly, and oh, no. uh, there's lots of dead bears. 
<laughs> lots, and lots of dead bears with pink caps. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we're going to be playing this soon. Uh, uh, we'll get a developer's key and show you what it looks like. Um, we've got a couple of other devel developer's keys in the works, so um, it's really great to see a l still the indie guys represented kind of with the big boys. Yeah. Yeah, so they had their really corner, cool. but they were mixing with, you know, Injustice, yeah. Paladin, all of those guys that have massive. And projects. like a bunch of them are still on Kickstarter as well, so mm. if you want to support them, there was a really cool game called Tetra there. That I thought just looked amazing, and it's just built by some students, and um, and the characters looked really cool. Um, so I've I put a fiver on that. They're still in uni now, right? They're still in uni. That, I think that's pretty. Just like five months into making this game, and fantastic. It yeah. looks really cool. Totally worth checking out. And Eagle Island looked pretty cool as well. Um, it looks a bit similar to Mario, like the platforms, and they even have like flowers that eat you and stuff. So. Um, but you have an owl, and that looks pretty cool, and that's mm. on Kickstarter as well. Um, like with most gaming festivals as well, you have yeah. the, the famous people, the YouTubers, yeah. Syndicate was there in, in force, yeah. they had a queue the whole time there, you, know, you can buy his merchandise and then he'll sign for you. And um, uh, He saw some guys from Yogg's Cast, doing, Yogg's Cast. Uh, they did a like how to create a YouTube thumbnail, which was a like how to use Photoshop yeah. thing. Yeah. Which was cool. Which was yeah, they have lots of stuff. It was, it was cool like to that. see them, like yeah, just them there. Yeah. There's always competitions and giveaways. Some guy was like throwing Easter eggs uh, to Did you the get kids. An Easter egg? No, no. You're not a kid. No, because there was the little kids that were so desperate. You could see it on their face. They oh, like, were they the guys from that they, radio? Thing? Yeah, they wanted yeah. that egg. Like if they didn't get that egg, they, they were, were going to be upset. The they were like red in the face. Like, <laughs> me, give it to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The the just do cool. it guy would have been. Yeah. All right, we come to uh, the end of our insomnia day. We're about to do the traveling. Now, I hope you can hear us. Yeah. It's, it's been pretty epic. Yeah, it has. It's been what, really cool. What's been your favorite bit? <laughs> um, I've really enjoyed speaking to developers. And uh, stuff. You do that well. Yeah. You're giving up so I many stickers. <laughs> I love these guys who are like working hard to make the game. Um, just I thought cool. Injustice 2 was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do an unboxing of this. Amazing. Really That's sick. exciting. There's much more coming soon from the Ruby Tuesday. Yeah. Bye. Bye.